Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Multiverses is finally doing some massive W communication with us, guys, and let's get straight into it. So the first one, guys, is that we're finally getting some real XP for the battle passes after the matches. Yes, they changed the whole 10 win, 5 win XP to 50 XP for a win and 25 XP for a loss for your PvP matches now. And that is live currently from watching this video and forward. So that's W. Love that change. Definitely needed it. Definitely felt like it wasn't even worth playing um initially after you do your mission so w change on that the next thing is that they're going to talk about their daily um logins yes for the people that felt like logging in 11 days in a row just wasn't um that, that it was impossible because you know they had work school out vacation or whatever they had to do it's okay so for the next for the rest of the season and future seasons it's going to be daily um logins for the whole season yeah so right now the daily login rewards are up to 11 days so all you gotta do is log in 11 days within the whole season and you can get all the rewards hopefully in the future like season two I want to say maybe 20 days um, would be nice to see um, out of the 60 days or usually it looks like the season's going to be. I think the season was 64 days or something like that. I think that'd be awesome to increase rewards, you know, if they're going to do something like that. That is awesome. But now, guys, the biggest change of them all. Yes, the biggest uh, W is, is that they're finally communicating kind of a roadmap of what's actually going on with this game and how they're going to improve and how they're going to make it 10 times better. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the next patch. The next patch is most likely going to have improved Xbox performances. Hopefully this time it works around for y'all. Um, lowering max desync rates, you know, games desyncing because of whatever reasons, you know, because of connection and um, crossover platforms and etc. So hopefully that, that rate will go down. And then finally, removal of some gameplay loops that had little counterplay. Yes, all those loops that you've been seeing in the game, like Steven, Wonder Woman, um, Joker, and all of them, man. Hopefully they finally found a nice system to get rid of all of that, but still give us a lot of um, expression on, you know, skillful combos and etc. And that is going to be in the next patch. That could be happening in a few hours because if you don't know, it looks like their patches are going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you don't know, guys, today's Thursday from watching this video, the day it's being uploaded. But guys, that's not all. The future updates that they're really working hard on and hopefully will all be in the game before, you know, season one is done is that they're going to bring back spectating mode and customs, a free for all queue, settings to swap neutral and forward attacks, settings to turn off team colors, settings to adjust input buffer, end game stats, allowing players to keep the same party for PvE and PvE and a replay system or a replay button for the PvE to immediately go to the next um, nod or play it again, dedicated neutral button, uh, dodge button settings, camera adjustments for 1v1s, and finally guys, rank mode. We wanted a bit more time to get our balance right before unleashing rank and I think that's the best thing they could have possibly said because I know a lot of people were wondering like, yo, what the hell, no rank once again. Uh, if you didn't know, the beta did have rank but it did come very, very late into the um, lifespan of the game um back in the beta um but yeah so i think this is a good like thank god they said something versus like oh it's not ready it was more like as we can see the game is not really in the best balancing as we just saw we literally just had um iron giant doing infinites um these loop combos these 80 percent some of these characters still have infinites or near um undiable combos and etc so yeah that is a big massive w i can't wait for that to be changed and also guys they're also reevaluating reevaluating um rips um you can um for like for example you know how you're forced to do co-op because of the star or whatever now they're not gonna force that on you but you know it, it's faster to do um rifts you know with co-op um they still want to do balancing you know get every character in a fun spot to play um with play as and against so w on that and yeah man they are they're working hard and i'm, I'm finally happy to see them being vocal about this stuff because i think that was the biggest thing is that there was no communication they were just doing things or like stuff was being done without reasoning right they, they were telling us what what was going on so we kept on just guessing rank is not <laughs> sorry rank's not ready oh it's because they didn't finish it this is not done oh because they didn't do it in reality again new engine um still want to work balancing before they put something like that out and all that stuff and i'm happy that they're finally communicating now hopefully this isn't their last time communicating with us and it continues but yeah guys uh, i might be seeing you in a few hours for an update if it happens today if not then most likely tuesday um that's it for the video leave a like if you like the video comment anything you know i love y'all comments and reading to you guys and guys if you enjoy multiverse content hit the subscribe button guys and i'm out peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la cause she wanna be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find